So Spell Disc actually just got a update. So there's a new outfit. I did not even know that there's new outfits, but that's easy content to add. I shouldn't say easy, but uh, it's it's some content that a lot of these developers will add to their games. But otherwise, we lost the last time we played Danger Level 4. Let's see if we can get it this time. I'm really hoping we can. All right, so Spell Disc, here we go. So I am going to check out where we can even change our outfit. Is there like a mirror or something? A tutorial? This must be it. Ah, okay. Basic outfit, rogue outfit, assassin outfit. I did not know I had all of these. Assassin outfit. We have the archer outfit. We have the pyromancer. Cryromancer, Electromancer, Coffee Cat, and then the new Bunny Outfit. Jump instead of a dash. Stun and root enemies temporarily on stomping on enemies. However, you can't jump over a pit. Uh, I never have. I always go around them. I had no idea there's benefits to these. So I've been missing out. I've just been doing the basic outfit this whole time. We're gonna try out the Bunny Outfit for sure. Increase critical chance, but enemies can deal critical damage. Yikes. That's a high risk, high reward. Increased damage against enemies far away, but it decreased damage against enemies that are close to you. Convert all your spell damage into fire affliction. When weapon attack hits enemy with cold status, you gain attack speed, but remove their cold status. Huh, interesting. Thunder Halo we don't have. Obtaining gems, on obtaining gems, spawn a gem slime. A hostile slime can be spawned with a small chance. I'm kind of into trying that. <laughs> on dash and create a damaging trap on the floor. We don't have the mushroom hat. Moose antler charging attacks can be changed above charged above maximum, which increases the size of charge attack, but slower charging speed. Interesting. On idle, pumpkin explodes. I am never idle. Cat ears increase attack speed, but decrease attack size. Headband cannot reroll items but increased chance of crafting high level items. Ooh. So you cannot re-roll. I don't really like that. Increased damage, decreased damage affliction, or sorry, elemental affliction. Um, I feel like most of the time I'd be fine with that. Provide mana to all discs on critical hit, but decreased critical damage. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Cast a weapon spell on the end of the player's dash, but defense is decreased. Cast weapon spell at the end of the dash. Will that work? I'm going to go full bunny here. Uh, get me out. Get me out. Change only appearance. Wow. Um, no. Oh. What? I pressed the dash button and I am stuck. Oh, what the? That was really weird. Okay, so we we are surely we are actually casting that spell. So we can cast the spell and cast it with our jumps. Interesting. I really don't like the scythe. So maybe we change our weapon as well. Oh! What does this do again? I think this does a dash, right? So this synergizes with the jump. So usually we do a dash. But instead, we are doing a jump because we have the bunny suit on. Interesting. I think I'm going to try it. And I really do like the glacial gem because it can explode like that. So let's start off with that. Danger level 4 as the bunny. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I can't believe we're a bunny. You know what? The dash actually might be better with this weapon because it does damage to enemies as you dash through them. But I am loving that we can cast our spell a bunch of times by jumping out. So we are just hopping around. They waited a little bit longer, they could have had this as the Easter special outfit coming out, but maybe they just wanted to release the bunny outfit. I don't know. All right, 414 gems already. My goodness, that is 
quite a hefty first round here. I'm going to take double spell disc and double spell. When charge type, attack type is finished, amazing. We are doing that a lot. For each damage dealt with charged attack type, Ooh, I don't think we're actually doing damage with the charge attack type because we're just hopping over and we're not actually hitting them with the spell itself. Uh, don't really like Shivering Aura that much. We could take Frozen Heart for sure because we're, we're, we already have some cold going, so I'll take that. I've surround the caster with Spinning Swords. I want to try it. I haven't tried that before. So I'll take these two, let's reroll the other ones. Lava Tread, I don't know if I like. Blunt type we have, actually, our first spell that we have is Blunt type. Interesting, okay, I'll take it. I'll do one more reroll on this guy. Wild Claw, I've never seen this. Create slashing claws on target. I have seen that, Never mind. Rerolled, Shadow Dash. <laughs> it's physical, I'd rather have cold because I picked up a cold artifact here but you know what i want to save my rerolls so this is blunt requiring blunt and this is requiring uh charge okay maybe i switch this around is that good okay maybe i don't do that all right that's the arrangement i'm gonna go with because we have to remember, I cast my weapon spell every time I jump out with my charge attack as well. So that actually might cast the spell more often than putting it on an actual spell disc for now. This is so fun. I, I really can't believe I've missed that wardrobe this whole time. So I've been doing like the basic vanilla outfit for many, many runs, but hey, we got it now. Oh my gosh. Still taking some stupid damage. Let's pick up an artifact, I think. All right, gain gem on health loss. Kind of good. I'll take it for now. I might sell that later. When hitting target with attack type, it's not happening. We don't have any explosion. For each damage dealt with charge attack type. We did see that before. And when hitting with cold type. Oh, that was an accident. This is my normal dash here. So I can, this is crazy. I can do my charge attack and then hop immediately out if I need to with my dash. It's such a good combination. So I have a bunch of synergies going on just based on the weapon and my outfit. Kinda sick. Not gonna lie, I feel really powerful already. Pick it up. Keep going. Holy moly. So easy. So we need another spell. Ooh, so this is Sizzling Gem now. <laughs> it's definitely usable. It's, it's basically the fire version of Glacial Gem. So I guess I'll use it. And it's being powered by things getting hit by cold stuff. Okay, so we're going to see a bunch of gems fly out. Everywhere. Hey, this is new stage layout, I think. I have not seen this before. Where are my fire gems at? Ooh! Easy peasy. All right, so we have a fire disc for each fire affliction applied, or we can get sparkle laser, or we can get the fire projectile on attack swing. Nah, meh. It does count as a blunt thing because it's a slingshot, but I think I'm gonna take the fire affliction disc because we can use it since we have this thing. And then we're saving up for the next slot, so we're not going to do anything with that. Oh! So we can literally, literally just hop around. 
the enemies we want to kill, and they should die eventually. I should have known, but the sword spell is pretty close range. It's working for us now, but maybe later on I want to switch that out. We'll see. Still don't have enough for the next spell, so let's get out of here. For the next slot. Like, I don't want to be always close to my enemy so that the swords can hit, but it's, it's just happening anyways. I'm more of a long range person. so fun. Sweet. Alright, we got enough for our next slot here. Just uh, auto-equip you. So we want a spell here. We can afford it. We also have room for artifacts, so let's just do that. And this says, Pierce type and continuous type are the same. We have neither. Reroll. Gain increased critical chance and critical damage while idle, which resets on critical hit. Yee. Last reroll. Create a pool of fire, fire on dash. Love it. Oh my god. Wait, why are there multiple coming out? <gasps> my shadow dash thing seems to have it too. That is so awesome. I did not even know that that would synergize like that, but it works out really well for us. That will also be able to fi feed our fire disc as well, so we're getting super lucky today. Bunny outfit OP. Alright, so we need a spell. And this is the electric slash slash with lightning. I don't even have a choice to really re-roll anything anymore. This always happens to me. I always go trigger happy with the rerolls. But I think setting yourself early with like some good foundational spells and spell discs makes a huge amount of difference, so I'm fine with that. Are we seeing that electric slash come out? How much did you fire? 27, eh? Oh, it's the highest performing one. Interesting. Um, I kind of want to switch it. Actually, I'll, I'll see how that electric slash looks like. When target dies, you get some mana. I don't really like that. Create an a ice slash on target. I would rather use that than the, the electric one for sure. Create chain lightning on dash. It has a 0.5 second cooldown. It would be good, but the cooldown honestly makes it worse because if if it didn't have that cooldown i'd like it a lot more um because we have a lot of dash stuff happening but we're not going to be able to like abuse it that much because it has that cooldown so i'm going to take the ice slash and we're going to switch this out for that and i will take an artifact what are you critical chances rolled twice for favorable outcome sure i'll take that Yeah, it probably would have triggered often still, but I'm looking to go real crazy. Because like the fire pool, if it didn't if it didn't have any limitations to it, I would have uh, I would have seen electricity come out of our clone too. I feel like any other build, I would have taken it, <laughs> but I'm dashing so much, so it's like not, not going to come out with every single um, dash. Invisible, invaluable discs, invaluable disc. Oh boy. Well, I'll I'll tell you what I tell other people that kind of offer services. Um, 
not making any kind of money from anything I'm doing from my content. So it's hard to agree to stuff. But thank you for the offer. Every 20.25 seconds, attacks also create piercing attack. Eh. When hitting critical with spell type. I feel like this could work out for me. Um, yeah, I think that's a really good disc. Because we do have that artifact that allows us to crit more often because it rolls twice. Oh! Spore Golem. Have I seen this guy? I don't know if I've seen this guy. I don't remember seeing any kind of update notes for new enemies though. I'm pleasantly surprised. Maybe he's only like a danger level 4 enemy, I have no idea. This is so freaking overpowered. I have so much mobility and also I'm just casting a lot over and over. Okay, so I guess we do have a, a spell disc and a spell lined up. Wait, do I have an artifact slot? I do not. Right, on to world two here. We got the cat guys coming around. They make cat sounds, but they're not actually cats. Peace out. Man, this is awesome. When charge attack is released. That is happening a lot. <laughs> Laser Sweeper, definitely something that I would prefer over this lightning slash or electric slash. Double weapon spell mana regen, but cast a random equipped spell. Yikes. Uh, I feel like I like the laser the best. Should I sell one of these? No, I guess I can use it. I only really start selling things towards the end of the game when I know I'm not going to use stuff. But everything I have, I think I could use. Oh, jump into that eyeball. Peace out. So good. Thank you very much. So we can expand our slots here. We do the crit hit thing, and we're going to put the sweeper up in there. Jump over here, get a new artifact, hopefully it's something crit related. Enemy killed with elemental affliction on them spreads elemental affliction to other nearby enemies. I can't re-roll it. Oh, I can re-roll it. I bought a dice, I forgot. It was four star rarity, so I, I, I want to keep it just because of that. And we are doing a lot of elemental stuff, so... If we get an elemental affliction disc of some sort, I, I guess it could help with that. Gives us some options. Yeah, I really like continuous type of spells in this game because... They seem to be able to produce a lot of mana if you get the right combinations for the, the discs. And for like super broken, infinitely casting builds, usually it's a continuous type of spell that's triggering everything. From what I've seen at least. Okay, what the heck? How you doing? Okay, what do I need? I need the next slot. So let's keep moving. An artifact that I would also gladly take is a dash cooldown reduction. And then I can just really hop around all the time. Going kind of crazy with the dashes. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, we're just waiting. Enemies have one shield, no problem. One shield is nothing at all in this game. 
They can take one single hit of damage for free? Come on. Oh! Sweet. All right, what is this shield? While charging and attacking, three shield per second, max 15. Shield is removed after releasing charge attack. So basically, it just gives you a shield while you're charging. Um, my charge is super quick, so I don't think I really want it. And then this is when hitting target with attack type. Yeah, that's not going to help us. Flame presence out of all of them would be the best. And I think I prefer it over this electric slash as well. Is this continuous? It sure is. It sure is. So let's expand this slot here. We can't afford anything else though. So let's just keep moving on. Enemies have one shield again. Did I step on the trap there? I think it was the trap. Peace out. over him. Jump over him. Lol. Can I jump over? Yes, I can. That was so fun. All right, what is this disc? I need one. When target dies, oh, I don't like discs that rely on enemies dying. True, 300 true gem obtained heals 10. What? Oh, true gem, gem meaning not void gems. Um, this is such a great item in other situations, but I don't think I need it here. Shoot fire hurricane that hits target three times. It's the best out of all of them. Give me a good one. What are you? For each obtained gem. Ugh. If I had more void gems, then that would be better. I can't pick up these ones, can I? Oh, I can. In that case, let's pick it up. Void gems do count towards these things. Uh, let's do the sticky one instead. Sweet. Just as a side note, I have been actually playing the survivors version of this game off stream. It's kind of like a, a brain off version of this, in my opinion, because everything is auto-cast, um, even more so than this version. Like, you have to be less strategic about how you play during the, the waves of enemies. It's, it's more so just like strategic with how you pick things. But if that ends up being a paid version for the rest of the content, I, I think I will end up picking it up. I told myself that I would choose one or the other either the spell disc that we're seeing here or the survivor version. And I think I'm gonna pick up both. I, I just like the formula so much. Increase damage, increase more with rooster artifacts. Nice. I'll take a flat damage up, amazing. Oh baby. Oh baby. out of here. Yeah, there's uh, way too many games I want to play on the stream. <laughs> I was actually thinking about adding uh, the Super Mario RPG into the mix. And I was, when it came out, I was just sitting there thinking, oh my god, I, I can't squeeze this into the schedule. Between trying new roguelite demos and then the, the regular rotation of games I have currently right now even, I just couldn't even fathom enough time to do it. Because that game would... I, I would want to have sessions of like an hour or two to get through it, and I just couldn't imagine it happening. So unfortunately it did not make the cut. But maybe one day. When physical type is created, I think I do have physical types. There's two right there. How much mana are you generating? 20 mana produced. Eh. Every five seconds increase different elemental damage by 
you know what? I'm gonna take the disc. We got a lot of elemental stuff happening, so once we get 1100 gems, we can start using that. Wait a minute, don't waste your dash. This guy looking a little different. I swear he didn't have as much detail before, but I could be imagining that. So again, I'm wondering if it's part of an update or maybe it's part of difficulty level 4. Or I might just be imagining it like I said, so. Wow! Perfect boss run there. No hits for me. Alright, so we need... We just need cash. I don't... I don't need this. On to the next world or next phase. Right, these guys start stepping up on you. These guys get all up in your grill, so let's see how this goes. Maybe I will switch out my sword thing, but I just picked up a physical disc, so I kind of want to keep it just to feed the new disc. Oh my god, I am getting hit. Okay, how many physical things do I have? I have only two, right? And I guess my charge attack counts as a physical as well. Hum. Expand you. Auto equip. What do you got for me? When cold type is finished. Oh my god, that's good too. What is this again? All attack type is considered last combo. That's a very specific type of build. I feel like this disc would help us the most. And actually, we have two... We have two cold and we also have two physical. Whoa, this is not firing off a lot. When charge attack type is finished. How come that didn't fire off that much? I guess I wasn't hopping around enough. Um, all right. So I think I'm going to switch that out. Let's put the twin heats over here. I feel like that's a better arrangement. Oh yeah, they're seeing way more swords now. We got so many swords. Oh, that was a bad jump. Dang. I can see why I lost last time, man. Like, this, this is no joke now. So, we just need an artifact. And then we can save up for the next thingamajig. 10 fire damage to attack. Not happening. Blunt type is also considered slash type. Okay. And vice versa? Blunt and slash type are considered the same. So now this blunt type thing will also be fed by this and also this and also this. So that works out well. Okay. I guess I just jump in place instead of trying to jump on enemies, which was a lot safer in other phases of this run. And I save my dashes for when I actually need it. Because previously I was just like dashing and jumping anywhere as much as I can just to get spells out, but I have to be a little bit more careful now. Let's just do a stat check here. 16, 17, 12, 35, 15, 36, 11. Okay. There's nothing that screams out underperforming to me. Whoa! Easy. Alright, do we have enough? 13 hundo? You know what, maybe I will sell the charge attack finish disc, 248, let's do it, and then we can buy this. I can't buy a disc yet. I can't buy anything yet, whoops. Yeah, I just feel like that particular disc that I just sold is 
not going to be as good as other things I can pick up. My goodness. That was a full screen of attacks. If I wasn't able to move and hop around so much, I feel like I would have trouble dodging that. Oh, 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 get out of here. My goodness, no! Okay, so we want a spell disc. Whoa, what is this? While players standing still, that is literally the worst thing you could have given me. Yeah, I... I need to switch that. Really wish we had a reroll there. I mean, I can try to stand still, but everything else that I do is not going to be firing off if I'm standing still. So yeah, that disc really sucks for us. Get me out of here. At least we killed that room, that's fine. Let's sell it off right away to get the extra cash. And this is when hitting with last combo attack, not gonna help us. Create lightning zone on target. It is a blunt type of thing. Increase 100% damage when on stage starts, which, which diminishes over time. Not gonna do that. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna change anything. Let's get another spell disc. Please, something we can use. It is overkill for each damage dealt over remaining targets targets remaining health it seems to work a lot on other builds that we have done the enemies are stronger in this difficulty level so hopefully we do see it firing off I see it overheating so I think it's happening a lot It does require enemies to die for it to fire off, but when it does get mana, it's a lot of it. So I'm happy with that. So I guess this is the new standard of how powerful you need to be to get through this. I hope I can do it on the other difficulty levels, man. This has just been a crazy, crazy run. A lot of things lined up for us. We did get unlucky here and there, but... I mean, just the first few spell slots, we were able to really, really utilize a lot of the... the, you know, positive things that we have coming from our outfit and weapon. Hey, Kaden. It has been. 134. Let's keep going. We need an artifact and a spell. Yes. Woo! Get me out of here. Wow. Those magic arrows are not friendly. All right, gimme, gimme, gimme. So we got the heat dome, places a heat dome of concentrated heat passing when passing through a target with dash. I wonder, I really wonder if this would actually work with our hop and maybe for signs I will do it. When lightning status is triggered, enemies are stunned. Oh, we got a lot of lightning going on. I want to try this though. That might have been a mistake, but hey, I will try it out. So this is going to do lightning type and fire type are the same thing. It does help us because we have some fire status trigger stuff and we do have lightning spells. Yeah, the dash thing is not working from the looks of it. Oh, it is. From our dash spell, our dash spell counts as that dashing thing. I really got to remember that. If you have a, a build that is revolving around you dashing for any reason those shadow dashes count for it i love that they programmed that in because it makes it so much more complex and opens up a lot of doors for crazy things to happen if you have a lot of those dash spells i really do like that learning something new in this game every single time 
All right. So we are maxed out. We just need one more artifact. The next floor is a shop. You know what? I'll sell stuff if I find something better. But let's see. Reduce mana cost of spells. <laughs> it's a five star item. Can't complain there. All right. Let's see what you got, buddy. You got lightning. I feel like the lightning disc would... Oh, actually, this triggered off a lot. 29, 26, 17. Yeah, actually, the dash thing performed pretty well. The cold finish disc is per performing less than I thought it would. Pillars of Fire and then Digger's Fortune. Well, if I can sell this for enough, it's worth 300. Okay, I'll, I'll take this and I will do the lightning damage dealt because... We have this thing that's spinning continuously that will do lightning, and then we have these other two lightning things. I think that it will perform better than the other disc. And here we go, last boss fight. I'm surprised that we have this little health, actually. I thought I'd come in with a lot more because of how strong I feel. Oh, she's dead. Oh my god, the swords! The swords are ridiculous! can just run into you and you'll die. Oh, we lost 13 health, but hey, wow. I say this every time I win, but I think that was the strongest build so far. We don't need to spend any more cash. Bunny outfit OP for real. I really like this outfit, but I'm, I'll definitely try out the other ones. I'm sure we can find other crazy synergies with the other weapons and spells and stuff like that. But we were really, really lucky with starting off with the bunny outfit and the guitar weapon. But man, I, I had a lot of fun with that one. I'm so glad I figured out about the outfits from that update uh, post that was found on Steam there. Guitar victory and victory level four. Nice, nice, nice. So next time, we'll jump back in, we'll go through the upgrades, which I forgot to do this time. And then we'll also change our outfit and try to do a different weapon as well. Maybe we'll try the scythe again. I also haven't tried the sword, and it's been a while since we tried the staff here and the axe. So we'll jump back in, and we'll do that next time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it here. I definitely did. Leave a like if you did. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Would really appreciate it. That's all we got for Spell Disc today. But we'll be back with more soon.